how to make portfolio in Wix Studio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a portfolio in Wix Studio. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you need to create an account within this platform. After that, you are going to set up everything from the email address or the Google account. As you can see here, I have connected my Google account from there. Now we have the sites or the sites platform. So we are going to create a new site. Click on create a new site. Then we are going to get the option to choose two editors or from two editors. We have create on Wix editor, which is the standard editor. And we have to try Wix Studio. Click and get uh, to try Wix Studio. As you can see, we have the Wix Studio because Wix Studio is a part from Wix. Now, here we have choose how to design this site. You can start from a blank canvas, turn your vision into pixels perfect design, start from a template, or design on the Wix editor. So, Right here, we are going to start from a template. We're going to uh, see right there the templates. Then we are going to see the type. For example, uh, we have the category, we have the industry, we have everything. The most interesting part in for us right there is the type. So when you click on type, you have a lot of choices. We have right there uh, e-commerce portfolio, which is uh, the subject of today's video, one page, company site, CMS, and etc. So we are going to click on portfolio. Right there, we have some responsive portfolio templates. We have a lot and a lot of models and templates. Go ahead and choose whatever suits you well. Then you are going to uh, set up uh, the next steps. For example, in my case, I will go ahead and choose a template. I'm going to get the most simpler templates because I don't want to make something that fancy and also something that is going to be a very professionally complicated. So maybe we are going to set this as a designer, marketing agency and branding agency. So we are going to click on edit on the branding agency. Click on edit. Here we are going to see the Wix Studio opening up and preparing the uh, website. So as you can see, we have the website of our Wix Studio that uh, has been uh, chosen from the template. We can see here all the website loaded. We have right there the header. We can have our see the stack. We have the text or the title. We have this container which will contain normally the uh right there the logos or the media right there you can go ahead and add for example a logo i'm going to add it to the page you are going to see here uh, the text or uh, the logo so we are going to see also here the header or of uh, this specific uh text added this is just a presentation or, or uh, a little introduction to the portfolio now we have the featured uh, picture or the featured model. We have, for example, here Kiro uh, Cosmetics, Tunex, or Direction. Uh, so this is just a um, sample of a website that has been used for a agency. This is just not used for a direct agency, but it is for the uh, context. Now, as you can see right there, we have a lot of, we have also of compartment we have the uh, footer it is much simpler if you want to add a section all you need to do is to click in between sections for example here in between the first section and the second section we have a line separating the two you can go ahead and click on uh, add section then you can go ahead and uh, design it from scratch you can add a element set a grid layout or a set or a choose a design it section for example if i click on a choose a design section we have a welcome about services products team projects etc let's go ahead and add a project section because this is um, 
a lacking of projects. So we are going to add this one. You can drag and drop it or just click on it. So this is the section of the latest projects. You can go ahead and modify each one of these compartments alone. You can go ahead and set, for example, here we have some cards. You can add it or set it as a list. You can add it as a slider for the project, which will showcase the project right there with the project name or the project title. I prefer it as a card because it is much simpler like that. So if you want to modify something, you can go ahead and double click on any of these components. For example, you can change the image. You can uh, change the text of it. For example, for text, double click on the text. You can edit it. For example, here we are going to set building or uh, glass building. Just for an example, glass building. For this one, I'm going to set, for example, metallic. This is just a, a description of what I see on the picture. Metallic container. Container. And here we have it. So this menu right there on the right side will let you set, for example, the font, the style. Uh, also, you can set the spacing between the lines or also the interlines. You can choose the color, for example, of the text like that. You can go ahead and choose the color of the text, make it gray, make it a green. So as you can see, it is a green. It will change all of the colors of that specific um, uh, right there area that you have chosen or all the text that has been chosen in this specific section. So right there, and uh, now we are going to see the other projects. So for the sections, if you want to add a section, go ahead right there directly from there. Uh, you are going to see here the left side menu. We have the option to add an element, to add a section or a layers. You can see here the pages and organize them, rename them or link them. So we have also global sections. You can go ahead and see the site styles, make uh, some modification or editing about the fonts, colors and etc. We have some media. You can see here all the media that you have and you want to change. We have also the app market. If you want to install an integration or an app that will help you uh, generate more leads or generate more traffic. So we can go ahead and add another element. So I'm going to add an element from, let's say, button. We have media or embed code. I'm going to set, for example, a button. So we are going to set a button and that button, we are going to make it to work to another website or redirect us to another website. And we have the get started button. For example, it will show up right away. We're going to see it here. We have it. This is the button. So we are going to set it now like this and it will be uh, chosen and added for all of the, uh, as you can see here, the pages. So I have made a mistake. So for in place of get started, I'm going to click on uh, change the text and only put learn more. This is the same thing that you are going to add from there. So here we have the text or the button. You can go ahead and click on link and put it to another page or internal in this website or into a web address, which is external. You can choose to open the window right there or another uh, or the current window. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.